Armin Levac, 1045 The Team, 1045theteam.com, joined by a very happy big man, Jeff Schwartz, offensive lineman of the Giants. Schwartz, how ecstatic were you to see the Giants run the football? Oh, it was pumped. You know, we gave uh, Rashad 22 carries, which uh, helps with the rhythm of the run game. And uh, he stepped up big, and we were opening holes there, you know, in the second half. And we finally closed out a game on the ground. So it was fun to watch. I know the guys are pumped up about it, and uh, that's a game we had to win. So to, to see us execute and to see us finish uh, the way we did was fun to watch. 31-24 win. What was the what was the biggest difference you saw? Was it the running game? Is, is that why you were able to close it out? I think so. We had that third and one, the third and two. We got a first down, which I we had done all season really in that situation. Maybe the, maybe the Tampa Bay game. And then obviously the big completion with Odell and Eli and the third and four that get us to the, to the Neo Dead situation. So those are two plays that we have not really made our offense this year to close out a game to keep our defense off the field and, and to kneel the ball down. So, you know, those are, those are plays that, that we can execute and we haven't, and, and we finally did. So it was fun to see that happen. Tom Goslowski filling in for Armin today on 104.5 The Team. Jeff, when it comes to wide receivers you've played with, where does Odell Beckham Jr. rank? He was fantastic again last night. It was ridiculous. Uh, his route running ability um, gets him open. Obviously, he's, a, you know, he's very athletic, but, but if you look at it, it's just his route running. It's, it's excellent. And then obviously his hands, and you know, he made that catch in the corner of the end zone. It was kind of an, an improvised play. I mean, Incredible. I played with Steve Smith for many years, and, and Steve's a, an excellent wide receiver, probably a Hall of Famer. And, um, you know, but but it's incredible to watch Odell play. Where does he rank with with all offensive players? Because he just has the ability to take over the game. You you know the ball's going to him, and he still gets open. He still breaks loose on big touchdowns. Where where does he? I mean, you you've opened up holes for Adrian Peterson. You you've been there for Steve Smith. Where, where does he rank for you all time on offensive players? Oh, it's exactly at the top. I mean, like you said, you know it's coming, but I, I kind of go back to the little stuff. You know, if he doesn't run that route uh, the way it's supposed to be run, uh, where he beats the quarters of us with that slant and go, you know, I mean, he doesn't score touchdowns. So it's all little details that he's really good at, which, you know, for young players can be tough at times, but he's really embraced doing the right thing, you know, in his route concepts, and, and it really pays off. And then obviously, you know, you know the ball's going, and he still, he still makes plays. So, um, I love that he's on my team. I love watching him. I love watching him work in, in a game like that where he's a victory. Uh, it was great to have him you know, make some plays for us. Offensive lineman in the New York Giants, Jeff Schwartz joining Armin Levac, 104.5 The Team, 104.5theteam.com. Eli Manning had the best percentage-wise passing game of his career, close to 87%. Was that a game plan going into this matchup, or was Eli just that good? Well, I'm not in those game plan meetings, so... <laughs> Um, I do think Eli's just that good. I mean, one of the balls that uh, was tipped, I believe, so that's, that was one that was not completed. I think another one might have been dropped or tipped, kind of even you know, fought for. So that's another one. That's two of the four. So uh, it's pretty impressive. I mean, Eli's been doing this all season. You know, I mean, he's been at a high completion percentage. He's got rid of the ball fast. I know last night I saw a stat this morning. He got rid of the ball uh, the fastest of any quarterback uh, in week um, 14. So. I mean, he's a great quarterback. I don't know why people still question that. I know there's some games that doesn't look good, but every quarterback doesn't look good. I mean, there's certain games where where everyone struggles. So I never understood why Eli's never been considered, you know, one of the greats in, in the league quarterback. I mean, that's not surprising to me when he has a game like he did last night. Schwartz, when when you watch a game, which sadly you're stuck doing at this moment, do you? You know, put on the the offensive line coach hat. Do you start watching it and go, "Pew, you got to get out wide," or do you, do you watch it like that? <laughs> Uh, I mean, when I watch games, I generally look at the offensive line first, and then kind of go from there. So, um, I mean, there are times where where um, I do definitely think to myself, "Well, hey, you know, I, I know what could be done better." Um, but you know, it's hard to see from the from the sideline view what really happened. You know, I mean, you think one, you know, you think one thing, they get on film, and it's, it's totally something totally different. So, I always watch a game from the offensive line perspective, uh, and then I kind of go out from there. So. Uh, they'll, they'll never change, um, and plus, you know, I know what the guys are going through. I don't know, I don't know the exact play calls. I, mean, I, could, I could tell you know, what the plays run, obviously, but you know, I know what they're going through. So, uh, you know, it's um, you know, it's a way I always watch a game.
All right, so you so you're watching it as the guy. You're sitting there. This is how I would play the position. How did the O line play last night? I know it's a win, but was the O line as good as you'd hoped they'd be? I thought we did a good job. We protected Eli well. He wasn't sacked. I don't think he was hit very much. There was that late hit that was nothing to do with an offensive line um, issue. You know, Flowers toughed out his ankle injury, and uh, you know, with JJ in there against Sue, he battled, did a good job. So. You know, early on, I think we had a little struggles running the ball, but we you know we picked it up and and uh, we finished strong. So I was pretty proud of the guys, and now they're you know they're going to be happy about this win. And uh, you know we you know we get ready to play. You know the Panthers defense, and that's good defense. And I know you know they're ready to go on Sunday. Armin Levac, 104.5 The Team, 104.5 The Team.com. Giants offensive lineman Jeff Schwartz joins us. Follow him on Twitter at Jeff Schwartz. Jeff, you're a former Carolina Panther. You blocked for Jonathan Stewart. What makes him such a good back? Speed, power, the combination of both of those. He's finally getting a chance to be the feature back, too, so he's getting more carries, getting more in the rhythm. You know, when I was there, we uh, we split carries with D'Angelo, and D'Angelo's doing a great job filling in for Bell and, and Pittsburgh this year. So uh, they're both dynamic backs, but Johnson's finally getting a chance. So that's what makes him kind of special. I played with him in college, and I, and I got to see it firsthand, his speed and his power. Schwartz, we... we uh... We get excited about a win like this. It was it was great to see Monday night, but I, I I dare say the biggest game of the season is coming up this weekend. What do your Giants need to do to beat your former team in the Carolina Panthers? I have to stop the run and run the ball. I mean, that's what Carolina does best. They're going to run the ball. They have the highest percentage of runs called this season, and they're going to stop the run. And the teams that have had success have been able to do a little bit of both, stop the run, and run the ball. I mean, it's, it's really simple. That's the simplest, you know, basic part of the game. Um, the easiest thing to say, but that's how you beat a team like that. So we have to be really fundamentally sound in those aspects. And then Carolina, they hit a lot of, you know, deep balls. They basically just have guys that can run really, you know, really fast, check in, and, and we're going to have to be able to stop that. But I think if we if we focus on stopping the run, stopping Cam Newton's quarterback runs, and limiting, you know, the, the yards after contact, then we have a chance. Are you guys even going to bring up the fact that this team's undefeated? Is this going to be just the mindset of we need to win this game for the division? Does that 13 and 0 record even come into play prepping for a week like this? I'm sure it does. I know that we kind of felt that way going into the New England game. I think New England was, I believe, undefeated. We played them kind of a while ago, not like a month ago. And I know we had talked about, you know, wanting to test ourselves against New England and kind of knock them off. And we were close. I'm sure that they'll play into it, but definitely. Our first priority for winning is to stay in the division hunt. I mean, our, our first priority is not going to be, you know, let's let's give Carolina a loss. But we need to win this game to keep pace. All our games now, we need to win out. Um, hopefully our division helps us a little bit, and we get in the playoffs. Armin Levac, 104.5 Team, 104.5theteam.com, joined by Jeff Schwartz. Schwartz, are, are you officially done for the year? Like, if you guys do make the playoffs, can you play? I'm done. You're done? No! Because they're finally running I'm the done. ball! Done, done. They, do you, is there a part of you who just wants to like duct tape up that ankle and get out there now that they're finally giving the ball to Jennings? <laughs> I love to play, man. I mean, I'm disappointed in the way it happened. But like I said, if I, if I hadn't gotten my surgery, you know, I could have maybe come back at some point in the playoffs, you know, toward the end of the season. But, I mean, since I had the surgery, it didn't happen. I might have been walking right now, so... Um, I'm done, done. It's unfortunate. You know, I'm sitting on the couch with my leg propped up and my cast on and uh, just with my scooter. My scooter's back, so. The scooter. The scooter's hanging out right there. And, um, you know, my poor wife has to basically go through the whole process of babying me again. Well, I mean, there's a plus in everything, right? A plus is I get to hang out with my son, my family. I mean, it's been great. That's the only plus about this. And it's, been, it's a great plus. I mean, I've seen him. Just over the last two weeks, like you, you just realize how much you miss being at work every day. And uh, it's been just so great to hang out with him. Jeff Schwartz, offensive lineman of the New York Giants. Follow him on Twitter, at Jeff Schwartz. Instagram, I actually saw a picture of you with the scooter rolling around with the little man, and I thought, okay, this is a guy just having a good time. Even though he hates that scooter, he's found a way to enjoy it. That was the day I got the scooter. We brought out to the facility just to kind of um, – I want to show my locker, but he really didn't care, so <laughs> no disappointed in that. But uh, yeah, it was you know he got that big old smile, and I rode around the scooter a little bit. 
he thought the scooter was his toy for about two days, but he's gone over that now, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, you try to make the best of the situation, and luckily I have a great family, a uh, great support system, and I get to hang out with them and, and kind of you know see my son grow up a little bit, and it's been it's been a pleasure to be able to do that over the last couple of weeks, and you know heading into the off season. Well, Jeff Schwartz, we are we are big fans of yours, uh, both personally and professionally. And you know, anything that gets you closer to 100 percent or as close as you can physically get for next year, we're fans of it. I'm looking forward to seeing you out there just mashing people for the entire season next year. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thank you, guys. All right, man. Well, uh, happy Hanukkah yeah. to you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Jeff Schwartz brought to you by McLean. Of course, McLean always looking for experience. CDL Class A drivers, great benefits from day one. 401k match, which is just amazing. New equipment, electronic logs, five nights at home, company paid meals, and hotel. You work 45 hours per week. It is a Berkshire Hathaway company with a double A credit rating, handcart, ramp experience plus. If you want to get started, and I'm telling you, you do, you're going to work hard, but you're going to get paid for it. Call Karen and Human Resources, 861. 861 6122 that's 861 6122